I'm so excited to be sharing with you my guest bathroom makeover. I am so happy with the way it turned out and I can't wait for you guys to see the end result. But first, let's take a tour through the before. So essentially, this is just decor that came from my last house and my last house just had a totally different vibe and I know a lot of you really love that last house. I did too but I'm really into the farmhouse feel now and I just love the open airiness of it and but yeah so I just took what I had from my last house and kind of threw it in this bathroom and it's just been like leftover decor that didn't make its way into the rest of my house so we're gonna change that up now. Now I do love to repurpose, but in some of these decor pieces, I knew that I was never really gonna basically put them anywhere else in my house. So I am actually going to donate them. So yeah, I'm really sad to see them go because I really did love it in my last house, but they just don't work here anymore. And I know that I'm gonna have this farmhouse thing for a really long time. And also this wallpaper, I call this Harley Quinn sedated. Um, at least it's neutral. It was definitely something that I could work with with the farmhouse, but it's not my favorite wallpaper, but as most of you know, my goal is to be moving to Florida really soon, so that's why I'm not going to tackle that project. But these curtains are actually from Walmart. I remember going to Walmart and getting them because, um, again, I just didn't think twice about my guest bathroom, um, but then once I started really doing farmhouse throughout my entire house, I thought my, my guest bathroom kind of stands out. It just doesn't really make any sense, and... If I'm gonna have a guest bathroom, I wanted it to at least look nice for my guests to use. So the first step that I obviously took was clearing all of the old stuff out of the bathroom. I even took out the trash can and everything because I, while I was in this process of redecorating, I took the time to also clean the bathroom. Um, it's pretty clean. There's actually really nothing in the cabinets, so no decluttering really needed in this room at all. And honestly, the only thing that's used for this bathroom is the bathtub where I wash my dog when it's cold during the winter time and then she just gets a bath outside when it's hot summery time. Um, so really no one uses this bathroom but I do know that when I move I'm going to have a guest bathroom and so I'm going to take all this decor with me and I love it. Anyway, so the first thing I'm trying to do once I have the bathroom cleaned up is I'm going to install the curtain. I needed the curtain to go up first because I really wasn't sure about this. So this is actually not a shower curtain. It's actually just regular room curtains and it was for a kid's line also. But I just thought it was the perfect color. It's completely neutral. It has like this green blue, even though it's kind of looking blue gray. It actually has more of a green blue look to it in person than it does on camera. And I loved the ruffles. I just thought ruffles was so farmhouse and I wanted I wanted this bathroom to have a feminine quality while also having like an outdoor like wild look. And you're going to see how I in my mind accomplish that by the the flowers that I used. But that's why I wanted the ruffles. Really was just the feminine quality and I thought it was very farmhouse. I decided that I really loved the way these curtains came out. I can always throw in a shower curtain liner to make them more functional for a shower, and that will be that. So then I move on to some decorative pieces. So this farmer's market piece, I think I got at Home Goods. I think it was $24.99. I did spend a little bit more than I wanted to on some of the decor, but I'm not mad about it at the end of the day because I picked decor pieces that I'm just absolutely in love with. Now, I'm not a fan of this gold shower curtain, and the way that this bathroom was kind of designed is really really awkward um so i just decided to leave the farmer's market sitting on top of the towel holder i thought it was really cute that way and i so yeah i mean it's i did what i could with that gold but anyway i know it's not that expensive to replace from lowe's but i didn't want to go into all that so now i'm just taking some other decor pieces that i have this corner tr like a metal tray was really really cute and it fit perfect in this corner and then of course I have this barn wood miniature door piece and this is that aspect where I wanted my bathroom to kind of look like it was in the country outdoors and there was like a piece of wood just sitting with you know wild grass and and flowers growing all around it that's kind of the look I wanted to go for and as soon as I saw this wood crate, I thought it would be perfect in here to hold extra rolls of toilet paper. This is probably my favorite 
part of the entire bathroom is this little corner with that wood barn door, the little miniature door, and then this bucket from Dollar Tree. Yes, this galvanized, or maybe it's faux, it's like a faux galvanized tin bucket. And it says flowers and garden. And then I bought these flowers at Hobby Lobby. And this is exactly what I wanted. At first I thought I wanted baby's breath, but they just didn't seem wild enough for me. And I wanted the flowers to just look wild. I didn't want them to be a perfectly arranged bouquet of roses. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I just thought that this turned out stunning. Sometimes when you're redecorating a new spot in your house, you have to play with the decor and swap it out and put things in different places until you find exactly how you want your layout to be. And I have to tell you, I, I did just that with this white metal tray, this corner tray. It took me a while to figure out what, like, what I wanted in it, not in it. So I definitely had to play, but I love how it turned out I have another one of these flower and garden buckets from Dollar Tree and I had sticking these Bolero products are also from Dollar Tree but I love that they're green it looks so fresh And even though this windmill is actually a napkin holder for your kitchen, I thought it'd be perfect in the bathroom because it's very farmhouse to me, it's very country to me, and I thought it'd be cute to hold a little hand towel. I feel like this decor piece really kind of pulled this whole thing together. Um, I know someone mentioned what this actually was when I showed you in the hall or in the shop with me. I don't know what you call this, a, a rake or I really don't know, but um, I just thought it was farmhouse to me. And so I instantly knew that I wanted to, where I wanted to hang this, which is like right when you enter from the bathroom and <sighs> wait till you guys see what I added to it because I think it's so cute. I am going to add these lights to this. These string lights, they were $9.99 from TJ Maxx. Originally, I actually got this little rake holder to hold hand towels, but then I instantly remembered a haul back where I went to TJ Maxx and I saw these gorgeous light bulbs with these alligator clips. If you watch all of my videos, you know what I'm talking about. I went back to get those, but they weren't there. I found these lights instead and thought they would be perfect. This candle I picked up at TJ Maxx, it's Mandarin and Mint. I am so in love. It is the best smelling candle I've ever had in my house, ever. I'm also including this fresh luxury room spray in the smell of linen. I actually got this from Tuesday morning a while back, but I feel like every bathroom should have this because you never know. As a guest, I would be mortified if I didn't find something like that in there and needed it. And no video would be complete of mine if I didn't have some sort of Dollar Tree DIY. So this is a waste basket from Dollar Tree. It's always been in my guest bathroom. But I also found this like amazing twine rope at the Dollar Tree. And I thought I, this would be perfect for my makeover. Um, so I'm just going to basically hot glue, hot glue this rope around until I basically run out. I definitely didn't want to do the whole can, um, trash can in this rope. I just wanted it to have a little bit of detailing just so that it didn't look so cheap. And it really did elevate it. And I love that the rest of the trash can has this like white, um, you know, metal fence, like chicken wire kind of look to it. I felt like that's also farmhouse. So... I thought that this little project turned out perfect.
And this is the after. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found some inspiration. Go check out my last bathroom makeover. I can't believe how many views I got. It's, I think it's over 400,000 views, but it was the bathroom I did for my daughter in our last house. But those are some ideas there as well in case you're interested in more of like a modern glam. Um, but this is my farmhouse guest bathroom and please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.